Well, Lacey Schwartz grew up in an upper middle class Jewish family in uh, upstate New York, where almost everyone she knew was white. She assumed that she was as well. Her recent documentary, Little White Lie, tells the story of how she uncovered the secret of her true racial background. VOA's Caroline Weaver tells us more. I grew up in a world with synagogue, Hebrew school, bar mitzvahs. So it never occurred to me that I was passing. I actually grew up believing I was white. In Little White Lie, Lacey Schwartz tells of growing up in a mostly white community in Woodstock, New York. She sometimes wondered why her skin was darker, the first time when a nursery school classmate remarked on it. That's the earliest memory I have of feeling different. It was embarrassing to be singled out, and it made me feel ugly. When I told my parents what had happened, my father pulled out an old photo album and told me I took after his great-grandfather, who was Sicilian. And I saw pictures, and I said, oh, Lace looks like Robert's grandfather. I didn't realize that I was um, biracial until I was 18. What made you realize it? You know, I think, you know, one of the biggest things in my story and in this film is about the power of denial. And when I was making the film, I was very interested in kind of looking at the, what is the timeline of denial? What is the anatomy of denial? It was only in college, when the Black Student Union invited her to join, that the truth began to dawn on her. For the first time in my life, I felt like I belonged. And somehow, I just knew that Black was who I was. Of course, that meant that there was something my parents weren't telling me. Lacey came to me and said, we have to talk. It was like, oh no, I'm scared. Schwartz's mother admitted her affair with a black family friend. Even Schwartz's father had not allowed himself to know the truth. I don't think I was experiencing loss at that time, but I certainly had a fear of, in particular, losing my father. If we talked about the fact that he wasn't my biological father, I think I was really feeling, yes, confusion, but also relief at knowing why I looked the way I did and where I came from. Schwartz says that audiences of all backgrounds relate to the film. We really thought it was important that we make sure we reach all different audiences. You know, go to black film festivals, go to Jewish film festivals, documentary film festivals, just to show that really this film is about race and certainly it has to do with my Jewish identity, but it's really about family secrets and anyone can relate and connect to that. Little White Lie will air on American Public Television next month. Carolyn Weaver, VOA News, New York.